Lauren Yates from Rave It Up here and welcome to our weekly wrap. Here's what has been going on this week in the world of entertainment. Charlie Sheen went on the Today Show this week for an exclusive interview to confirm that he is HIV positive. He apparently trusted this diagnosis with some people in his inner circle but in the end paid about $10 million to keep it all a secret. He now has released himself from that prison. You can check out the full interview on our website. It's been seven months since Zayn Malik left One Direction, and now he has done his first major interview since the departure. The 22-year-old sat down with Fader magazine and told us that he always kind of knew he wanted to leave One Direction. One Day's pop music isn't what he normally listens to, but now he can make the music that he really wants. Go to our website for the full interview and for a sneak peek of his new song. Sophie Monk has won this year's Celebrity Apprentice. The 35-year-old was up against Big Brother's Tim Dormer in the final boardroom. During her time on the show, she raised an incredible $269,000 for her charity Make-A-Wish Australia. And over the whole series, the celebrities raised a total of $520,386 for various charities around Australia. Chloe Kardashian was on the Ellen Show this week to promote her new book, Strong Looks Better Naked, and also discuss Lamar's recovery. Have a listen. He's off of all machines that help his organs, but still he has such a long way to go. Um, he's learning how to walk again and feed himself again and put sentences together and cognitively there's a lot. Does he know what happened? Well, I can't tell him, we tell him he had a brain injury. I can't tell him how that brain injury was caused because mm -hmm. it will set him back. Does he ask? No, uh -huh. he's never asked why he's here. He's uh -huh. never asked. Yeah, no, he doesn't ask. So mm -hmm. he's really confused a lot. We have to remind him. Every day is different. Sometimes mm -hmm. he knows who the president is or his birthday and then other times he thinks he's 26, and I said, I bet you wish you were 26, yeah. so yeah. do I. Yeah. <laughs> and I bet you're wondering what is happening with the divorce, because it doesn't look like Chloe and Lamar are getting back together since she has a new boyfriend. Well, I'm there helping him, and you know, I love him, and I've always loved him, and that will never change. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like it's a really insensitive thing to fast forward a divorce. Mm -hmm. Yep. You. Um, but I love him and I always will. And he's a fantastic person who deserves support and love and for someone to be by his side. And for me, I'm that to him. The most important thing is your family understands and your boyfriend understands. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna say I'm like part of polygamy now. I have a husband, I have a boyfriend and just like call it, that's a way easier thing to say. Chinese company, the Wanda Group is reportedly in talks with the state government about potentially building a multi-billion dollar attraction on the Gold Coast. They want this project to be like a second Wonderland or even a Disneyland. So let's hope it goes ahead. I think we can all agree stepping on Legos is one of the worst things ever, but it's okay. Lego understands our pain too and is now working on anti-Lego slippers. It only took them 66 years, but this will really help us out. They'll produce only about 1,500 of them and they'll be distributed randomly to people who fill out Christmas wish lists on Lego's French website. She's not a dog, Jason. Yeah, well, listen, she's been very selfish. She hasn't been a very good teammate, I can tell you that. Once Upon a Time star Jennifer Goodwin is expecting her second child with husband Josh Dallas. The two co-stars tied the knot in April last year and already have a one-year-old son together named Oliver. You can't touch this. Why are you standing there, man? You can't touch this. You may all remember Tim Amatic. Well, he now goes by his birth name, Tim Amaji, but he is still as awesome as ever. His new song, Go To Work, has been released and we can't stop dancing to it. Have a listen. Make that booty pop and dance like it's your job. Go to work. Go to work, girl. Justin Bieber's new album, Purpose, is out now and he has given his fans exactly what they want by releasing a video clip for every song off the album. Go to our website, raveituptv.com, to check them all out. Are you currently having a good time? Well, if you're not, you're about to. Justice Crew have dropped their new track called Good Time, and it's currently getting mixed reviews. We think it rocks, though. Have a listen, and let us know what you think by commenting below. I know you're looking for a good time. I heard you're looking for a good time. I know you're looking for a good time. I heard you're looking for a good time. I know you're looking for a good time. Good time. Famous rock band Guns N' Roses could be reuniting. 
Reports have been suggesting that they will go on a reunion tour next year across Europe and the United States. Lead singer Axl Rose and guitarist Slash have apparently put their years of arguing behind them and are ready to perform together once more. A star-started tribute concert to celebrate John Lennon's 75th birthday will take place on the 5th of December. Artists like Willie Nelson, Sheryl Crow and Aerosmith Steven Tyler will be performing at Madison Square Garden to honour the former Beatle. And we can watch it when it airs on the 19th of December. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. It's been a long time coming, but the first full-length trailer for Zoolander 2 is here. The film will be out on the 12th of February, and Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson are of course back, along with the beautiful Penelope Cruz. And even Justin Bieber, who manages to take one last selfie before he dies in the trailer. Have a look. Derek Zoolander, I'm with Interpol. I need your help. She's hot. I trust her. Someone's trying to kill the world's most beautiful people. Oh, fudge! Peace out, world. All of them died with your signature look. This is blue steel, right? We need you to infiltrate the world of high fashion. We're back! Yeah! Are you sure Zoolander is the right man to help us? Hey, handsome! Ah! God help us all. The third Thor movie will be in cinemas on the 3rd of November 2017. And it looks like we could expect its first major female villain. Marvel have definitely had a number of female villains in its source material, but this will be the first time that one will be on the big screen. Daniel Radcliffe has confirmed that he will not act in the upcoming play Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Warner Brothers may even gain the rights to make a new movie based on the play, but Daniel apparently won't be acting in that either. He said in a recent interview that he has already played Harry Potter and it would be very weird to see someone else play him. A reason why Daniel Radcliffe is saying no to Harry Potter and the Cursed Child could be that he is turning to directing. The 26-year-old has admitted that he's been working on a dark but funny screenplay and really wants to bring it to life in the next few years. Mariah Carey will voice the mayor of Gotham in the new Lego Batman movie. This film will be a spin-off of the Lego movie, so Will Arnett will be returning to voice Batman. The movie will be out in 2017. Casting news of the upcoming Baywatch movie has resurfaced. We already know Dwayne Johnson and Zac Efron are on board. And good news, Nina Dobrev and Ashley Benson are being considered for the female lead role. Who would you like to see as the female lead in a red swimsuit? Let us know by commenting below. Just jabbing full of beans, no doubt. I thought they talked like us. Does anyone else speak Australian? Rob Thomas, who you may remember from Matchbox 20, plans to come down under for a national tour next year. He'll perform in Sydney, Adelaide, Melbourne, Canberra and Perth. Tickets go on sale from 10am on the 25th of November. Comedian Russell Howard has announced a world tour for 2017. He will visit 30 international cities on the tour, which includes New York, Wellington, Amsterdam and even Sydney and Melbourne. This will all kick off in Ireland in February of 2017 and will end in Australia on the 19th of July. Tickets are on sale now. Passenger has also announced an Australian tour for next year. The folk singer will be supporting Ed Sheeran for an Australian stadium tour in December, but he won't be away for long. He'll kick off his own tour in Hobart in February before heading to Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, Adelaide and Perth. A photo. You put it out there on the line. Online? On the line. Online. On the line. When you say on the line, you mean online? Yeah. Apple have released an Android version of its music streaming app, Apple Music. This version offers most of the same features as the iOS app including a free trial for new joiners. Up next week on the Rave It Up radio show, I'll be interviewing guitarist Jason Francis Foreman. We'll find out what it was like performing in front of about 6,000 people at the Singapore Convention Centre and how he tackles the music industry. So you definitely do not want to miss it when I air it next week. And that is next Tuesday at 6pm on Swire FM 99.9. You can tune in live on our website, which is raveituptv.com, and also the podcast will be uploaded on Wednesday in case you missed it. Now, if you have any comments on today's stories, please leave them below. We'd love to know what you think. And make sure to subscribe to Rave It Up TV on YouTube for more Rave It Up videos. And we even do vlogs now, where I give you a sneak peek behind the scenes of Rave It Up. So that's definitely worth checking out. And if you'd like more celebrity news, visit our website, raveituptv.com. Now, before I go, everybody, remember to take risks. 
If you win, you'll be happy. If you lose, you'll be wise. 